What's up guys and today I have a different style video for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you how I learn as a web developer, as a full stack engineer, how is it that I uh, self learn and I've built this system that I believe can really help someone uh, learn faster, move faster, build faster. Uh, because truth be told with you, uh, May 2022 is when I started to learn how to program. I had done computer science uh, a couple years before in university, but I didn't finish. I dropped out. And it wasn't until May 2022 I decided to take CS50, which was a Harvard's free um, computer science course. And then from there, I did a boot camp, learned React. And ever since then, every single day, I just been learning, building, learning, building, learning, building. And I've created this system that I believe has helped me and I believe can help you too. Now, one thing that you need to realize is as a developer, you're going to experience what is called the Dunning-Kruger effect. And it's essentially, there's going to be a time where you know nothing, but you have high confidence you feel like you can build whatever right i sort of experienced this when i learned to use state i'm like oh i can build anything right and this is when it's called the peak of mount stupid it's you actually know nothing right and then as you continue to learn as you continue to grow you experience what's called the valley of despair where you know just a little bit more but your confidence has kind of died down and you're kind of realizing dang i literally know nothing and there's so many developers out there that are so much smarter than me right and a lot of people stay here, but you're supposed to keep learning, keep building. And at some point you'll reach the slope of enlightenment and the plateau of sustainability. But I'll be honest with you. I always mix and match between peak of peak of Mount Stupid and Valley of Despair, where I feel like I know everything, but then I'll get humbled. But the one thing I will say is I've built a system that allows me to learn things uh, fast, pick up things fast um, and have them in my toolkit always. And it's essentially a system that I literally called 30 seconds ago, building an interactive curriculum. Now, this is how I would go about learning something. Let me give you a live example. Let's say I wanted to learn um, server actions, right? Let me go on YouTube and let's say I wanted to learn server actions. So what I would do is I would go server actions next JS, right? I'd go on YouTube and then I see a couple of videos. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab, open in a new tab, um, open in a new tab, open a new tab. And yeah, we'll just open this video in a new tab. So what I'm going to do is now I have these videos. I have one, two, three, four, five videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these five videos together and this is essentially my curriculum now. Now, I don't want to watch full blown five hour videos on one specific topic. Um, if it's like one of those tutorials where you're build, building a full stack application like Code with Antonio or, or some of the videos Josh does, th that's fine. I'll be honest, I've never been through a whole one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a video on a core concept four or five videos. Right. And this essentially becomes my curriculum. So I'm going to watch these videos. I'm going to uh, take notes. Uh, if they're writing code and what, what I mean by take notes is write code with them. Um, and this is my curriculum. Now, what I'm going to do with this curriculum is I'm going to build a simple project with what I just learned. So if it's server actions, I'm going to build some sort of CRUD application with server actions, right? I'm going to build this application using the stuff I just learned. And once I'm done the application, I'm going to review. Did I use this correctly? Review those videos again. Maybe share this on Twitter or some other Discord community. There's tons of Discord communities where you can join, share your code and people will roast it for you, give you best practices. And, th and this is essentially what I do, right? This is what I call an interactive curriculum. And then what I do with this is I track my progress. Like, did I understand? Did this make sense? Did I just rip code and not understand what's going on? Uh, could I do this again? And this is literally my feedback loop, right? So I want to learn server actions. I find videos. I build a simple project, share it with others to review or ask people to look at my code and then I track my progress. How do I feel about this? Does this make sense? Should I do this again? Maybe I need another set of videos, another project, right? Because there, there is this stigma against, oh, just build a project, right? And, and I think that's kind of dumb because I need knowledge to build a project. I can't just build from scratch, right? So this is why I call it an interactive curriculum. I need something to watch, to learn uh, before I can go just build. You're not just going to go build from scratch without understanding anything. It's foolishness, right? 
So this is the sort of system I have built and I have a document where I track these things. For example, um, this is my stack now. These are things I'm very comfortable with. Um, these are tools I use, again, that I'm very comfortable with. And then here's some stuff I want to learn. I want to learn React Native and Expo and I want to learn Golang, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on YouTube, search for React Native plus Expo videos. I'm going to find a couple like, you know, five to six. That's going to be my curriculum. And then I'm going to build a simple project and then share with somebody review, get get a review, you know, share with a community member. Um, and, and, and this is what I do. Track my progress. Do I understand? I don't do it again. I do understand. Move on to the next topic or build a bigger project. And I track what I've learned and I add it to my stack. Right. There was a time I didn't know how to use GraphQL. So I found two videos, these two videos. I watched them. And I built a whole server with GraphQL, right? Using GraphQL. Um, and that's 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 how I, I learn and I build. And I'm telling you when I when when you implement this and you're and you're dedicated, uh, you can learn in one year what it might take someone to learn in three years, right? That's that's how I feel my personal experience, right? Because even though I started to code in May 2022, um, by January 2023. I was able to build full stack applications and then by like the next year, like I would say May 2023, I, I, I you know, I built production apps that thousands of users used that did uh, lots of transactions, lots of volume. Right. It's don't don't look at time from like a yearly perspective, but focus on how many hours you put a day, a week. Right. And if you really love the game like I do. Um, I feel like a system like this will benefit you. I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know if it makes sense. Let me know your thoughts. I do want to thank everybody for subscribing. We finally hit 5,000 subscribers. If you feel like supporting, you can support uh, Super Chat, all that type of stuff. Um, it should be down below. But I really appreciate you guys so much. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.